Hey folks, Matthew Weiss here, WeissAdvice.com. Happy New Year, first video of the new year, and it is going to be a follow-up to the last technique video of last year. So welcome to 2022. New year means new techniques, new approaches, new ideas, and that's exactly what this is. This is going to be compressing rap vocals, but I found myself doing it in a different and interesting way. I had pulled up Isotope products uh, just to kind of go through a few things and was using Nectar and found that the compression module on Nectar actually has a very interesting setting where it allows you to do a blend between two different compression settings to create your overall compression setting for whatever you happen to be processing. So I'm going to play a little bit of this and then I'm going to get more in depth to explain exactly what was going on and how it used to kind of be done the old school way, how it's sort of working as a new school thing and why I think it's so cool. All right. She yeah, think baby. everything's okay One of these circles round niggas been doing this shit for years yes. Been through it all, now nigga run around this bitch and really ain't got no fear yeah. Making shit clear, I ain't fucking with nobody who ain't showing full support Ball all right, and let's solo this vocal up real quick. I'm also going to take off all of my extra processing, which is really just some EQ and excitement. Running these circles round niggas been doing this shit for years Been through it all, now nigga run around this bitch and really ain't got no fear Making shit clear I so this is actually pretty heavily compressed. I, I don't know why I've been getting that error message here, but okay. So when we pull this open, the compressor module is, is pretty interesting. It has two parallel modes, a uncompressed to compressed mode, which is typical parallel compression and wet to dry. And then it has a mix between compression one, compression two mode, which is what I've selected here, which allows me to set compressor one one way, compressor two the other way and get a blend between the two. Now, this is basically a streamlined version of something called multibussing. Multibus techniques are pretty common in the world of rock and pop. I think of like Michael Brower and Andrew Sheps, but uh, a lot of people do multibus techniques. And the idea of a multibus technique would be like, if I were to take this vocal, send it to two auxes, and then process the vocal two very different ways, maybe one becomes a very bright version of the vocal with like very sharp, fast, snappy compression, and then maybe the other one is a warmer version of the vocal that's using like a, a softer, fluffier, kind of bulkier style of compression. And then what I would do is I would take the faders and find a balance between the two, and that would create my vocal sound. It's a really neat approach that we don't typically see in hip hop very often, but when we see something in one thing and we don't see it in another, that's a good little doorway for innovation, right? We can try things that exist in one context, put them into a new context, and end up with something that's pretty different. So I, I was really pretty happy with what I was able to come up with here. So first I'm gonna take the compression off and I'm just gonna play a little bit of this vocal through and then bring it on so we can hear the before and after. Running these circles round niggas been doing this shit for years. Been through it all. Now nah, nigga run around this bitch and really ain't got no fear. Making shit clear. I ain't fucking with nobody who ain't showing full support. Ball in my court, vet in my sport. Big dog shit nigga fuck your fort. Huh? And I think that when we do the before and after, we realize pretty quickly how much compression is actually on this vocal. Like, there is quite a bit. It's very aggressive compression, uh, but it sounds cool, so, you know, we're keeping it. So what's what's the the thought process behind this? Where did I come up with these settings and things like that? Well, I set it two ways. On the first compressor, I have my very heavy-handed compression, and on the second compressor, I have more of the typical kind of compression you would see for a rap vocal. So compressor two, I'm gonna put it all the way to that, is uh, character is solid state. This is going to dictate uh, the knee shape, and that's gonna be a slightly harder knee than say like optical or something like that, but still not a completely hard knee. And then the ratio four to one, which is very typical standard starting spot for a vocal. Uh, attack time is 20 milliseconds, which would be very fast for a vocal, except that the detection is set to RMS. RMS means average level detection, and it, it, it will influence the timing constants to be a little bit slower than what they're actually marked as. Digital 20 milliseconds would be extremely fast, but like peak detection, 20 milliseconds would be very fast, but RMS detection, uh, a 20 millisecond attack time is actually going to be a little bit slower feeling than 20 milliseconds would imply. 
I explain all of this uh, on uh, mixing with compression. I go very, very deep into all of these different things. Uh, and then going to the release time, again, a little on the fast side, although for, for rap vocals, I tend to be a little on the fast side anyway. But again, we're in RMS mode, so this is going to be slightly slower feeling than 64 milliseconds. So, it, But it's still on the faster side overall. But this is a pretty typical-ish setup for rap vocal compression. Running these circles round, niggas been doing this shit for years. Been through it all. Now, nigga, running around this bitch, you really ain't got no fear. Making shit clear. And, you know, it is acting pretty fast. But again, you know, the vocals are being delivered pretty fast. So it kind of makes sense. Now, let's flip on over to compression one. Running these circles round, niggas been doing this shit for years. Been through it all. Okay, it's a totally different compressor and it's it's much more heavy handed. So what's going on here? First of all, it's optical. The reason why I have it in optical is because optical is going to give me a very soft knee shape and that soft knee is going to allow me to dig in with the compressor really hard while minimizing the amount of fuzz and distortion that comes with it. Anything with a harder knee where I'm digging in and I'm using fast time constants is going to create some, some pretty distinct overtones, which I actually demonstrated in the rap vocal compression video from 2021, and it's not always a bad thing to get that. However, if I'm going to the extreme, I'm really pushing in a lot of gain reduction, and I don't want that effect, then a softer knee is going to help mitigate it. In addition to that, a longer release time is going to help mitigate that as well. So I have 115 milliseconds set on the release, uh, but I have a very, very fast attack time. I have a five millisecond attack. And the reason is because I really want to lock everything in place. I want to create this like very full, beefy sound that doesn't really have a lot of peak energy at all. It's all sustain and body because this compressor is being used to create body. Running these circles round, niggas been doing this shit for years. Been through it all. Now, nah, nigga, running around this bitch. All right, so now all I have to do is negotiate between the two. So I start from my second compressor, which is my more natural compressor. Running these circles round, niggas been doing this shit for years. And then I just move the slider between the two, and I'm going to start to hear something that speaks to me in the right way. Now, it, it's also worth saying that doing this is, you're going to want to have the beat playing as well, because we might do this and hear that it, the, Running these circles the subtlety of it really quickly. Running these circles round, niggas been doing this shit for years. Been through it all. Now, nigga, running around this bitch, you really ain't got no fear. Making shit clear. Like, I can, I can already pretty distinctly hear that change, but if we have the rest of the beat going. Running these circles round, niggas been doing this shit for years. Yes. Been through it all. Now, nigga, running around this bitch, you really ain't got no fear. Running these circles round, niggas been doing this shit for years. Yes. Been through it all. Now, nigga, running around this bitch, you really ain't got no fear. Yes. Making shit clear. I ain't fucking with no. So I could even go more toward that really heavy body compression, and in the context of the beat, it, it doesn't start to really sound bothersome. You know, so now there's sort of this negotiable range where it's like, okay, this is gonna be pretty beefy feeling. Running these circles round, niggas been doing this shit for years. Yes. Been through it all. Now nigga running around this bitch and really ain't Or maybe I err on the side of being a little bit more natural. Running these circles round, niggas been doing this shit for years. Been through it all. Now nigga running around this bitch and really And I kinda like the I, I don't like it this much because even though it's very it's a very full sounding vocal, it also feels a little stuffy. It feels like there's not a lot of room to breathe. So somewhere right in the middle actually hit me as being like the best point. I think I had it at around forty five percent here. Running these circles round, niggas been doing this shit for years. Been through it all. Now nigga running around this bitch and really ain't. Got yeah. So so that ended up working out. So this is a, a very different take than we typically see with rap vocals or compression in general. But I, I want to get your, your mind to open up to some possibilities here, right? So this is not just to take this idea, you know, oh, it's done in Nectar, so therefore run and go buy Nectar. You don't have to buy Nectar to do this. Uh, it's more about the idea of using multi-bus compression in the context of hip hop. And it doesn't even have to just be vocals. It can be synths, basses, drums, whatever you want it to be. The concept of sending something out to multiple places, processing them all differently to create different things, and then finding a blend between the different auxes that you've sent to, that can be a really, really powerful approach because it gives you a lot of freedom. It allows you to put some really heavy, crazy effects 
on one bus while leaving another bus maybe a little bit more neutral or you know you you create different stylistic aims and you can be very very indulgent on one bus because you don't have to worry about regretting it later i guess so to speak <laughs> so uh yeah i i say experiment with that create multiple sends process on multiple sends recombine them and make that your sound and see what you can come up with because you might find that you're able to come up with something that is totally different than anything you've ever come up with before and really exceeds it. I happen to really like what I'm getting as far as this compression goes and so I might start to experiment with some multibussing where you know, instead of using maybe Nectar, I'll bus out and I'll use an 1176 on, on one bus, I'll use uh, an LA-2A kind of thing on another bus, and I'll just mess around with some stuff and see if I can start to create something that's a little more patently me. And uh, I'm really excited about doing things in a way that is different than I was doing them before, because, you know, hey... Happy New Year, right? <laughs> Different than before. All right, cool guys. If you like this video, hit that like button. If you dig what I'm doing on this channel, hit the subscribe with the bell notification. Remember, I'm terrible at these outros, so bear with me here. If you have any questions about anything you've seen, other topics you want discussed, etc., etc., or if you think that what I'm doing stinks, drop something in the comment section below. Hey, I'm here for it. Uh, lastly, if there's anything that you, if there's anyone that you believe would benefit from this video, hit that share button as well. The share one, I guess, is probably most important really for growing the channel, so, you know, don't be shy about hitting that share. And lastly, you you know what we say. We are musicians, sound is our instrument, and I will catch you next time.